Trump, baby. Make America great again. Any Hillary bitches in here? I bet not. I'm a Hillary bitch. Well, he's your president now. Not my president. You have that AK-47 with you? Not with me. Too bad, because I have my 72 Harmon Killebrew Louisville Slugger. Unfortunately for you, I'm suffering from PTSD, post-Trump stress disorder. I'd bash your fucking brains in, but obviously you don't have any. Take a hike. Come on, Carmine. Listen up. I gotta get this off my chest. I'm gonna tell you why my gal Hillary lost. First, the Bernie or Bus people didn't vote or voted for a third party candidate like Jill Stein or Gary Johnson. Who's Gary Johnson? He's the moron who thought Aleppo was a fifth Marx brother. As for the millennials not showing up, college kids are basically lazy and haven't gotten off the couch since the 60s. Uh, well, they're all the same anyway. Really? Obama's the same as Bush. Let me give you some advice, Sparky. You better stock up on sunscreen and bathing suits because your future for thinking they're all the same and not voting for Hillary is skin cancer and floods. Hashtag, you're fucked. Hashtag, suck my dick, you millennial jack-off. Equally fucked are all you uneducated numbnuts who believe this guy is gonna bring you jobs back from Mexico or China. Here's the painful truth for the uneducated. The robots that are taking your jobs don't speak Spanish or Chinese. Tell you one thing, minorities didn't show up for her like they did for Obama. And even a lot of Hispanics voted for Trump. It's true. All those swing states with Republican governors and their voter suppression laws, causing four to five hour waits in minority areas. I'm surprised as many blacks voted as they did. As for the 29% of Latinos that voted for Trump, I got news for those dumbasses. Whether you're from Cuba, Honduras, Salvador, Colombia, or Venezuela, to most Trump supporters, you're still a Mexican and probably an illegal. But that's not the biggest reason she lost. The Russians. Those bastards totally hijacked this election. And now that piece of shit Putin may finally get his chance to restore the Soviet Empire while his bitch Donald watches from the sidelines. But they're not the number one reason either. That FBI thing was pretty fucked up. I think that sealed the deal. Yeah, that was pretty major. Nine of the last 11 days before his election with Trump having nothing to focus on but lock her up. I don't know if that cocksucker Comey was covering his ass, but without that gift, no doubt Trump would have skid right off the rails. I'd say that was the number two reason. Because without my number one reason, all of the obstacles that conspired to defeat Hillary, the Russians, the FBI, 25 years of Republican character assassination, those bullshit Benghazi hearings that wasted all of our money, Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly each sucking one of Trump's balls on Fox News, none of these would have worked if one thing would have happened. All right, Carmine, you got our attention. What is it? I'm getting there. But first, I have to talk about two vital and painful premises about men and women. First, most men don't respect women. No shit. Yeah, but have you ever asked yourself why? Because most men resent women. It's in our DNA. First, women can bear children, and men can't. No guy gives a shit about bearing children. Not the point. The point is, we have to rely on them for the propagation of the species. And we have to rely on them for sex. And we don't like that either. That's why there's so much emotional and sexual abuse. Did you hit your head this morning, wake up and think you were Dr. Phil? It's about evolution. Thousands of years of us relying on them for sex and children and them relying on us for food, clothing, and shelter. Then along comes World War II. Women join the workforce in great numbers. Technology becomes the great equalizer. And now women are managers, executives, and they compete with us for jobs. Over time, men have become less necessary to women, less powerful in their own eyes, and more resentful. So how do we men feel more powerful when deep down we feel powerless? We pay him 70 cents on the dollar for the same job a guy does. And since we can't bear children, we control when and if they can have an abortion. Ah, but here's the rub. No one is inferior without their consent. And that brings me to painful premise number two. Most women, deep down in their DNA, believe that men are more powerful than they are. You know, that's true. They always doubt themselves. They don't have that big swinging dick thing that we have. Yeah, that's called false bravado. And we have loads of it. Thousands of years of women relying on us for their survival. They internalized the belief that men were superior, and that has led to them tolerating a lot of second-class treatment and abuse. And that brings us to this election. Thank you, Jesus. I won't mention all the vile, hateful, racist, or ignorant statements that flowed from Trump's mouth. I'm only gonna focus on one. When you're a star, you can do anything. Grab him by the pussy. Yeah, that was fucked up. The fact that this did not disqualify Trump in the eyes of men is not surprising given our lack of respect for women. But the fact that women didn't disqualify him is fucking shameful. 
Even Melania dismissed sexual assault as locker room talk. That's the role model for our daughters. And you know what? Fuck Ivanka too. If I hit my head, woke up, and I wasn't Dr. Phil, but I was a douchebag like Trump, I'd want my daughter to say, Dad, I love you, but you're a douchebag, and the world doesn't need any more douchebags, so shut the fuck up. But you see, women don't do that. They don't stand by each other. They don't have a code like we do. Yeah, they don't say shit like bros before hoes. We say chicks before dick. <laughs> <laughs> no guy ever believed that. The truth is, women compete with each other. They compete for our affection. They compete with each other in the workplace. They even compete with each other over their clothes. You never hear a dude say, can you believe what that guy is wearing? Women had the chance of their lives, the historic, monumental chance to stand up and say, fuck you, Donald, or whoever else they wanted to say it to. I will tell you if and when you can touch my pussy. And fuck you, you are not going to pay me 70 cents on the dollar. And fuck you, you are not going to tell me if and when I can terminate my pregnancy. And fuck you, this time, you are not going to choose an incompetent, an unqualified man over a qualified, incompetent woman. They had to a chance to save men from themselves, save our children's future, save the planet from a moron who thinks climate change is a hoax perpetrated by the Chinese. I expect men to make the wrong decisions. Let's face it, we're idiots. But women? Women are supposed to be different. They're the ones who are supposed to see the con coming a mile away while their boyfriends or husbands get duped. But not this time. This time, ladies, you fell for the con hook, line, and sinker, especially white women, 53% of whom voted for that clown. Obviously, white women are less enlightened than their sisters of color. And don't tell me they would have supported a woman, but not this woman. This woman who was the single most qualified and competent person, male or female, to ever run for the presidency. They didn't like her, Carmine. They thought she was cold. And not authentic. It's true. They didn't trust her. Give me a fucking break. Donald Trump doesn't have an authentic bone in his body. And I wouldn't trust him with a 12-year-old. And he ain't exactly warm and fuzzy, but he is a man, so he doesn't have to be warm. He doesn't have to smile more, and he certainly doesn't have to be honest. He conned women into thinking she was crooked Hillary or she was too shrill. Sorry to say it, but shame on any woman who voted for Donald Trump. Trump who did nothing but insult and denigrate women for the entire campaign. Well, congratulations, ladies. You've sent yourselves back to the 1950s where you weren't much more than damsels in distress. That's harsh. John Stewart, funny man. I heard him say not too long ago that he has friends who voted for Trump and he's not going to say anything bad about him. Well, allow me, John. Your friends are fucking idiots. I have a brother who voted for Trump. He's a fucking idiot, too. And now all the women out there that voted for him, they're idiots just like guys. Only saving graces, being an idiot, doesn't have to be a permanent condition. You just have to realize that you're an idiot, admit it, and don't make the same mistake again. And the 2018 election is the perfect opportunity. All right, I said my piece. I wonder if now we can pinch their asses in the office again. <laughs>